So today I'm here to talk about some not so common skincare techniques and I know plenty of other sources online and videos they give you all the basic skincare tips like put on a face mask, exfoliate, um, wash your face every day and moisturize. Like we all know to do these things and if you don't well there's some extra tips for you so yeah um but in this video I'd kind of like to focus on some not so common skincare techniques and these are things that I do myself and I've seen real improvement in my skin and I know I don't have perfect skin I suffer from acne and I do have acne marks that are still there but through some of these techniques I've greatly reduced the amount of acne that I have and pimples and when I do get pimples they go away in like a day and I've just been able to make my marks and scars from acne fade away and this is at a much faster pace than it would normally go and I've kind of struggled with these marks for a while because I used to have a really bad habit of popping my pimples which another fun tip don't pop your pimples bad idea but anyway so I hope with this video I can share with you some really interesting new techniques that you maybe haven't heard of before and just something that's different from the typical wash your face, moisturize, use masks, exfoliate, etc, etc. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to start with my method number one and that's called dermaplaning. So most people haven't heard of dermaplaning so I'm going to explain it a little bit. So what it is, is you have this little um, razor type thing. And this I got at um, Sephora, but you can find any of these on um, Amazon, I'm pretty sure they have them at Target now, they have it at pretty much any beauty store, so technically this is I think an eyebrow razor, but you can find any kind of special dermaplaning razor as well, but if you want to just find an eyebrow razor, you can use this as well. So what it is, it's got a little cap, and you just take this off. And see, it's got a um, blade, and it's not as sharp as a razor that you would use on your legs or anything like that. So this is meant to be a facial razor. Actually, I think this is technically called a facial razor, not an eyebrow razor. But anyway, so yeah, if you look up facial razor, dermaplaning razor, anything like that, you will find something along the lines of this. And mine came in a pack of three but one kind of broke. Yeah, just a warning. Sometimes these like blades come out, but anyway, what you do is you take this and then you put it on your face and I will demonstrate it in a second. But what this does, it removes peach fuzz from the face, but this is actually not the main reason I use it. I use it because it exfoliates the skin and removes that layer of dead skin cells at the surface of your skin. So then it just brings that nice fresh new skin to the surface. So it's a really good exfoliator and it removes peach fuzz and that helps makeup go on a lot more smoothly and I really love it for both those reasons. But if you want to go with just the skin care, if you want to go with just the skincare aspect of it, this is a great exfoliator and great remover of dead skin cells. So for this, what I'm doing is I'm just pulling my skin back slightly and using the razor at an angle and just getting up all the stuff from my skin. And you can sort of see a little bit of my dead skin there. And this also takes up peach fuzz, but since I just did this a couple days ago, you can't really see any that I'm getting. But normally if I do this weekly, I will get a ton of peach fuzz that comes off. So it's a dual benefit thing because it exfoliates and it helps with unwanted peach fuzz. And I'm doing this all over my face. And I also do this on my nose because it really sloughs away the dead skin that's on my nose. And my nose, like just around it, is super dry. Like more dry than other parts of my face. So I really find this to be helpful with that. So as you can see, I'm just going to pull on the sides of my nose in a second. I also like to do this at a downward angle on that part of my nose just because it's easier. And so yeah, I'm going to pull it back and I can really get the sides of my nostrils at this angle and get all of that dead skin off. It's gross, I know. And then I'm taking the CVS Skin Treatment Oil. This is fairly cheap, but I'm just putting some on my hand and putting this all over. And this is really an awesome overall skin healer. It moisturizes, it helps with acne, it helps with 
acne scars. It's really just an awesome treatment oil. So another um, really weird actually, I mean, at least not common skincare technique that I um, use. I use this once a week and what it is, it's called derma rolling. So I have this little case for it and there's a derma roller inside and what derma rolling is, is taking a roller and it has little tiny needles on it. I don't know why I said little tiny the way I did, but yeah. So it has little tiny needles on it and what this does is if you roll it on your skin, it makes tiny little punctures into your skin which forces your skin to um, heal and regenerate itself which in turn helps um, lighten and fade acne scars and marks and just really renews your skin. I use this to fade my acne marks and it works really well especially when I use a serum right after doing this because in addition to allowing the skin to regenerate itself it also allows for serums and moisturizers to really soak in as there's little punctures into your skin. And I love using a vitamin C serum as this really heals the skin and helps fade acne scars and marks. So definitely would recommend this. And it's really been working. It's not 100% gone yet, but I've only been using this for a couple of months and it takes a few months for it to fully get rid of the marks, but I've definitely been seeing a huge improvement. So once a week, this is what I do. And you can find this derma roller on Amazon. That's where I found mine. They also have them at Walmart and Target and all that good stuff. So if you do want to go to an actual store, you can find it there. But I really like Amazon because it has um, cheaper things available and more of a variety. So all I'm going to do is take this and roll it all over my skin. I go on my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, my temples. The only place I really avoid is my nose because it's really hard to get the roller all into the curves of your nose. And then I also like to go on my chest area because I do tend to get acne there as the skin is thin like my face. And one other tip is you can do this on your lips and it actually acts as a plumper for your lips. So if you do this overnight, then when you wake up, your lips will be a little bit plumper than before. And to finish this off, I like to take this vitamin C serum. This is by True Skin. It's on Amazon. And it comes in like this little syringe thing. Not really syringe, but eyedropper. There we go. And I just squeeze this onto my face and I rub this into my skin and vitamin C serums are really great for healing the skin and helping with acne scarring and even regular acne. So this is just really awesome to put on my skin after using the derma roller, especially since there are already little holes so that the serum can really seep into my skin. And this is awesome to do overnight. So this next one is facial misting, and what I have is this mister here. Hang on, let me just let the camera focus. Not on my face. Okay, so this mister is called Pure Daily Care, and you can find these online. Amazon has them, and oh, I just spilled some water myself. Okay, so Amazon has them, and a lot of places like Ulta and just um, beauty stores like that have these and what this does is the misting opens up your pores because of the hot steam and this allows for um, masks and cleansers to really get into your skin a lot better since your pores are open and it's really it just feels really nice on your skin too like it's just a nice little relaxing thing I like to do so uh, and then after I'm done using the mister I will either wash my face or put on a face mask and it really improves the benefits of the cleanser and the mask. So I'm going to take this part of it and I already filled it with water and I'm just putting it into the front of the steamer or mister and it should look like this and then I'm going to go plug it in because that's important. And I'm going to turn it on to facial steamer. There are other functions of this, such as warming towels and being a room humidifier, but for this, I'm using it as a facial steamer. 
And so I'm keeping my distance from it and you can see all the steam coming out and I'm just bending over the steamer and really letting all of that steam get into my pores, open them up and really just make everything so much more open and clear so I can put cleanser on and I'm using this micellar cleansing water. I really love this stuff. This is amazing for getting rid of any excess makeup, including waterproof eye makeup. And I just spilled some there. Oops. And so this is just really awesome for getting everything off. And since I use the mister, my pores are nice and open. And so cleansers and moisturizers and masks work much more effectively. And I'm using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost moisturizer. This is an this is a water-based moisturizer, and it's super effective in moisturizing the skin without being too heavy. So, you've probably heard of this one before, but diet and vitamins really play a huge role in how healthy and clear your skin is. For vitamins, I like to use hair, skin, and nails vitamins. So this is a natural vitamin. Um, it's in pill form and it says it promotes collagen and keratin health. It's called Restore Life Formulas. And so I'm going to show you. It's a pill about this big. And I take three of these every morning. And this is super great for hair, skin, and nails. As this is called Hair, Skin, and Nail Renew. So not only does this help your skin, it also helps your luscious locks and your nails, which I need to repaint because the polish is chipping. Anyway, so yeah, definitely recommend these. And if you're not a pill person, another recommendation I have that I really like, it's these gummy vitamins by Olly, O-L-L-Y. And they have a hair, skin, and nails um, vitamin. And it comes like a little, little cute cube, which I love. And I actually ran out of them, so I have to go to the store and get some more. But I really love these. They taste amazing. You take two gummies every day. And it really makes vitamins fun when they're in gummy form, you know? Now, as for food, foods rich in antioxidants are really your best bet. And one of my favorites is berries. So you got blueberries, strawberries, things like that. They are very high in antioxidants. And they really help with healthy skin. And I really love fresh fruits, but sometimes they're not in season especially where I live and so what I like to do and so what I like to do is take a frozen fruit and this is a berry medley so it's got all my berries in here and it's really inexpensive and I can put these in a smoothie and take with me to the gym for right after I work out and put some protein powder in here so I get my antioxidants and my proteins all in one smoothie. Another great food for skin health would be spinach. It's also high in antioxidants along with other vitamins. It's rich in vitamin B, C, and E, and also just getting more leafy greens is healthy for you anyway. And you can just include the spinach in a salad so it mixes everything together. You don't have to just eat raw, straight up spinach, you know? Because, you know, who wants to do that? I mean, maybe some people, I don't know. And another awesome food would be salmon. And this is not only a healthy meat to eat, but it is also rich in omega-3 fatty acids and salmon is known to help moisturize skin and keep it looking really refreshed and hydrated. And another awesome superfood for your skin would be avocados and I like to include these in salads or I'll put it on some toast and avocados are awesome for preventing blemishes and are just really awesome for you all around. They're super healthy which is why they call them superfoods so definitely try to incorporate avocados into your diet and you will see amazing results not only in your skin but all around. Another thing I really love to use as a spot treatment for my pimples is this um well any tea tree oil. So this is by Herbal Authority and it's just called tea tree oil. What I love about this is that it's just very natural and it's not one of those harsh drying spot treatments that you'll find in a drugstore and well, I mean you can find this in a drugstore but I mean it's not like it doesn't have loads of chemicals is what I'm trying to say here and so it's really natural and it really works overnight in getting rid of the pimples and there may be a little bit of pimple left 
the next day, but two days later your pimple is going to be gone and it doesn't dry out my skin and I have um, fairly dry skin even though I do have pimple and I really love tea tree oil for that reason specifically. Also going into diet, back to the other thing, um, if you drink green tea that's also rich in antioxidants and is super good for your skin. Yeah, tea is just awesome. So drink more green tea and put some tea tree oil on your acne. And this tea tree oil you can find online but you can also find it in stores like Target and Ulta and Sephora and Walmart, pretty much anywhere, also at the drugstore. Most places have this stuff, even Giant Eagle, Drug Mart. So yeah, really found everywhere and is really awesome for getting rid of pimples. So for this, I'm taking some tea tree oil and a cotton swab and I'm going to dip the swab into the tea tree oil. And I'm running low, so <laughs> I'm trying to get some. And then all I do is I find a pimple, and I've got a big one right there, and I just dab it onto the pimple. And this is a spot corrector, so don't put this all over your face. It'll really dry out your skin. And this is an amazing overnight spot treatment. And then I close it up because it kind of smells bad. Not really bad, but it's strong, strong. Now this next one is gonna sound really super weird, but using sour cream as a face mask, and I use this because I have a lot of like irritated, red, frustrated skin a lot, and a lot of things can end up making my skin just flare up. And actually, even after washing my face, there is a lot of redness in my skin. It's just how it works. Can't control it, guys. Wish I could. So, um, what I use is sour cream, and I put this on my face, and it sounds so weird. It actually smells kind of gross when it's on there, but it's definitely worth it. And this is really awesome for just calming skin and calming redness. So if you do have skin like I described, I would definitely recommend trying sour cream. And it just feels so nice and cooling on your skin. So I'm taking some all-natural sour cream. It's organic. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm just taking a huge blob on my fingers and rubbing it all over my face. And this does smell weird, but that's okay because the calming effects are definitely worth it. And then after about 5 to 10 minutes, I'm going to take it off. And voila, my skin is calm. So a lot of people will mention cleaning your face, but they don't really mention cleaning other things in terms of getting rid of acne. So I definitely would recommend changing your pillowcases at least once a week, along with your sheets, and using alcohol wipes on, if you have glasses, use it on those, and also on your phone. Phone's freaking out here. And also on your phone, and because like what you're doing is when you go to bed at night, you're laying on a pillowcase that's had your face on it like the night before, and then your oily hair is getting on it, and just it gets nasty after a week. So change it out, wash it. Most comforter bed sheet set things come with a couple different pillowcases, so you can really just switch things out. Also, with your phone, you're probably touching it at least with your hands all day, and once your hands touch your face, which you shouldn't be touching your face, but it happens sometimes, so you want them to be as clean as possible and not all gunky from your phone, and bleh. yeah, it's pretty gross. So yeah, also, you know, keeping your hands sanitized, really good idea. And so I'm going to take these wet ones, and it's the antibacterial hand wipes. And I'm just going to open it up, as one does. Probably don't really need to demonstrate this, but going to do it anyway. And I'm going to take one wipe out, and then I'm going to use this on my phone. So I'm just going to wipe this all over, and this really gets off any gunk from your fingers, or if you were on the phone, any makeup that was on there. It really just prevents gunk from spreading. And then I'm going to take my glasses wipe, and use this to dry out my phone. And this is really nice for the screen as it doesn't smudge. I'm also going to do this on my glasses. I'm doing this 
on the side parts and anywhere my frame really is because that's what's touching my skin. And after a while, all that excess makeup and bacteria and stuff from my skin is just continually spreading. And so now my lashes are clean and I'm also going to clean my hands because while you're not supposed to touch your face, it still happens sometimes. So you want your hands to be as clean as possible. So changing your pillowcases are super important and most comforters come with a couple sets of pillowcases and sheets so you should be changing your sheets as well. I do this once a week and when you sleep oils from your hair can get onto your pillowcase and then this can get onto your face so just making sure you keep your pillowcases fresh and clean is super important to avoid acne. Another super important technique um, for keeping skin hydrated is drinking water. And most people know to moisturize their skin, but this technique I would say is not so common just because people don't think of drinking water as being good for their skin. But the best way to hydrate your skin is to do it from the inside. And that would mean drinking eight cups of water a day or more. Water is just super awesome for your body all around, but really, you will see benefits in your skin after a few days of drinking the right amount of water. I promise you guys. So if you're really struggling with dry skin like I do, or even if you're not, water is super great for moisturizing and making skin just look refreshed and amazing. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I know I've been gone for a couple weeks. Really sorry about that, guys. It's been very hectic with school, and I do put education as a priority in my life. But I'm here making a video for you, and I should hopefully be back next week with another video because I have a good idea for it.